Hey Nail Fam, I hope you guys are doing well this beautiful Friday. It's your girl Diabella back again with another video and this time I'm going to be unboxing and sharing with you guys this cheap dipping powder kit that I got off of Amazon. Now as soon as I open up the box, as you can see there is a nice little pamphlet in here and once I open it I can see that there are 12 colors in this kit. And also there are some instructions on the inside of this pamphlet telling me how to use the product as well as other kits that they have. Now I have noticed a few of their other kits on Amazon but I wanted to purchase one for now to see how I like the products. So included in this kit first of all we can see that we have some cute little pink mini files. We also have a cuticle trimmer here which I thought was a nice touch. Usually you don't see this kind of product in a dip kit unless I'm wrong. But so far, all of the kits that I have so far have not included that. Also, in this kit, we have a nice little scrub brush, which I really appreciate because I feel like these take off the dust better than the dusting brush. And then we also have a really strong fingernail clipper. I thought that was also a nice touch as well. Always nice to have some spare fingernail clippers and some cuticle nippers or trimmers, whatever you call them. And then we have this little dust brush here. Um, I've seen, I have a few of those already. All right, so this kit comes with the four typical dipping liquids, which is the base, the top, the activator, and well, as well as the brush saver. I thought the bottles were a little bit on the cheap side. They look very cheap, you know, but again, for the price, like I'm not expecting anything that has any gold caps and glass jars or anything like that. All right, so here are the 12 colors that's in this dipping powder collection. Again, I mainly got this because there was an orange in here. And then I saw some really pretty uh, glitter mixes inside here as well. So I said, you know what? Let me just add some more colors to my collection. And it was cheap, guys. I'm a really cheap skate. I like to find deals. I'm always on Amazon. I'm always on Shein. I'm always on AliExpress looking for a deal. So if something is cheap and you get 12 colors. So I thought it was a nice deal. All right. So let's pop these out. Let's take a quick look at all of the colors. And then we're going to go ahead and do some quick swatches. And then... I'm going to show you a nail design today. I tried to do an ombre using three colors. So I'm going to show you how I did that. And then uh, we're just going to go ahead and use some of these glitter um, dipping acrylic powders onto the nail as well. We're going to have lots of fun today, guys. So sit back, relax, and let's get into these nails. All right, so I have my dipping liquids here ready and then I grabbed my little medium coffin uh, swatch sticks and then I have all of the dip powders organized by the number. So it's one through 12. So now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, swatch the colors. Here is how the inside of the jar is looking. There is a little uh, safety protection pad uh, over all of the colors and the liquids were a little bit weird. They were very thick and looking a little bit yellow. So. Just be mindful of that if you get this kit. So now let's go through all of the beautiful colors. All right, so just a little quick peek at the two that I first swatched. And then we seem to have a combination of some solid colors as well as some glitter colors. And sometimes some of the colors look the same, but when I swatched them, I realized like they were different shades. So you just can't judge the uh, colors by what they look like in the powder state. So here are the glitters. I thought they were really cool. I have a silver glitter one here. Then we also have a gold glitter one. And then we also had this colorful one. There's a mixture of different colored hexagons in this. I thought that was really cool. And then we had this red one here and I thought this was so pretty. I just had to dip it in. This would have been perfect for the Valentine season that just passed us last month. And as you can see, like I'm effortlessly putting this in there and everything is sticking perfectly fine. It's not clumping up. We also have this purple glitter one, which I was really excited for. And then we also have this one that has like a little bit of purple and a little bit of blue inside there. So here are all of these swatch six wilds. They have just had one shade of the dip powder. I'm going to let them dry for a minute. Then I'll go ahead and apply some applicator and then is it applicator? 
and then also i will apply the top gel the top gel was also kind of weird as well like it's really thick it went on fine um i didn't have any issues with with, with how it looked when it was applied to the nail it was just really weird and sticky anywho here's how the uh all of the colors are looking on the swatch sticks once they have dried and then here's how they look in natural light some good set of colors here good set of glitter mixes here as well now let's go ahead and do some nails so i have my 2xl stilettos full covered and i'm going to be applying the primer to the nails and then i'm also going to be using the press on glue gel from bellavina to adhere them to my nails i'm also going to go in with a layer of peel ease and let that self dry this is like a peel off base coat it's actually been working really well for me i will say that all right, so I have the nails on now. I'm going to go ahead and start to apply these dip powders. I will be using them with some base gel and not the dip liquids. I don't like the smell of the dip liquids. And for some reason, like they do burn my nose and burn my eyes just a little bit. I thought that was super weird. So I'm going to be staying away from uh, the dip liquids for now. So now let's go in with a layer of base gel over the entire nail and then we're going to go ahead and pour on our first dip powder. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm going to be trying to do an ombre with uh, three colors onto these nails. So stick around and see how that turns out. Now, as you can see here, the dip powder is going on pretty okay. I'm not getting any clumps. I'm not getting any bumps and lumps and all that stuff. I mean, for an inexpensive dip powder kit, I thought that this color was absolutely beautiful. It's the perfect kind of nude, a dusty rose kind of color. And it went on really smoothly. It wasn't chalky. It wasn't, it was just fine. Like, you know, when you purchase cheap stuff off of Amazon, you'd be like, eh, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I only spend, you know less than 20 uh, US dollars on it. So you're fine letting go of such a small amount. But when it works out really nicely, like I have purchased kits that cost a little bit more and some of them were really chalky and really chumpy, you know, and they were clogging up onto my nails. So for a cheap set of dip acrylic powders, I thought these worked really well for me. All right, so I'm gonna to continue to go ahead and apply some base gel to the remaining nails. I'm gonna wipe off any excess onto the sides of the nails, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the dip acrylic powder onto the nail. I find using cupcake holders, and I have said this before, but in case you're new to my channel, I feel like cupcake holders are the easiest way. I've seen other dip powder YouTubers do this exact same thing, so I got the idea from them. They uh, just use the cupcake liners, and then they easily pour it back into the to the uh, jars so i thought i'd just share that with you a little hack all right so here is how all of the nails are looking once they have been dried i really like this color and it's only one coat and it really covered the nail pretty well like i don't have any gaps or anything like that so i take my little scrub brush and i'm just going to use the scrub brush to kind of take off any excess remember we used base gel to apply the dip powder and once I have the base gel down and I allow the dip powder to like sit on my nail for about a minute or two, then I put it under the UV lamp to cure and that is basically it. So don't rush to put your nails in, just let it sit there and kind of like get into each other. And look at how that looks. I, I really like this color, it's really nice. So now what I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna do now is once I've removed that excess powder, now I'm gonna go in with the colors. So I'm gonna go in with a layer of base gel again and then for each of the colors, I'm going to pour them onto the nail and then I will use like a fan brush to kind of position the, the, the nail, the, the color onto the nail.
All right, so I have my fan brushes and I'm gonna use three different fan brushes just so that I don't have to worry about cross-contamination. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of pour that on to the nail. And it takes a while to do this, I know that, but this, this way helps me to control how much powder goes onto the nail and making sure that I don't get powder anywhere that I don't want to. So I'm just gonna like lightly tap this onto the nail and then once I have the green on, tap that excess off and then we're going to move on to the orange and we're going to apply the orange right on top of that. Once I have these two colors down, then the final color will be the original pink that we put down and that's going to go towards the cuticle area. Okay, so here's an up close look. Like it doesn't look like the perfect way to ombre. Now I did try another ombre method by KC Nails uh, where she rubbed it into the base gel. And I wanted to see what the difference between the two. So with that one, you definitely need to rub a lot. And with this one, you definitely need to pour a lot, but then you get some kind of, you know, it looks a little bit textured. And I'm hoping that when I apply top gel to this, it'll even out. But as far as the ombre part of it, I think it looks okay for now. So now we're going to move on to the next nail. I'm going to skip on over to the middle finger for uh, this one. I definitely want to add, I'm excited to add in that colorful uh, glitter acrylic uh, that we saw earlier that had like the different hexagons in it. So I'm going to definitely grab that one and see how it looks onto this nail. So again, doing the same thing again, going in with a layer of base gel, and then we'll go ahead and pour on our dip acrylic powders.
So now for this nail, I'm going to do it at an angle. I'm going to do it in a sideways kind of way, like just a strip of this beautiful orange. And I just wanted to do, to be like on a slanted uh, line across this nail. And then at the bottom part of this nail, I'm going to go in with that kind of beautiful um, uh, glitter mix that had the different hexagons in there. I really wanted to try that out to see how it would look. And I think pairing it with a lighter color will definitely... Um, Make it look really nice. Okay, look at how that looking. Look at how that is looking so far. It's such such a pretty color. Like this orange is like perfectly soft. It's not a. It's not too pastel and it's not too, like a core color, like a strong orange. You know, giving me tangerine kind of vibes. All right, so here I go in with that beautiful, colorful glitter uh, dipping powder, dip acrylic uh, mix, and I thought it was so pretty so elegant so beautiful definitely a night out on the town definitely let's go and have dinner such a beautiful glitter mix in fact i do believe i have the glitter that's in this mix i have a loose set of glitter that has these different colors in it that's why i was like i feel like i recognize the color anyway not to go off track all right, so now let's move on to the ring finger. Now for the ring finger, I'm going to try to do a swirly line with this same colorful glitter mix. And I'm using a very small brush and I'm going in very carefully trying to control where the glitter lands. So if you wanted to do like a swirl with the, with the glitter acrylic, uh, dipping powder, sorry, um, definitely take a small brush and try to take your time and try to create that line. Now it didn't turn out to be the perfect line, but the line is there. Okay, the nails looking a little all right. We uh, let them sit and simmer on the stove for a little bit and then uh, we cured them. And now I'm just gonna take off that excess uh, dust with my little dusting brush here, scrub brush here. And uh, we're gonna have a quick look to see how this ombre turned out. Now for the for the index finger as well as the pinky finger, I just went in with one color. I went in with the green and I also went in with the orange just to do like a one color ombre to see how it looks. Now for the moment of truth, will this actually look good? That's the problem here. So we're gonna go in with our base gel or top gel is it? Well, you can use top gel as well if you're done. If you wanted to add in another layer, you can use base gel. Um, so we're gonna go in with the uh, top gel for now and uh, see how we're looking and yeah i don't know it's not perfect it's not 100 percent perfect so i might have to go back to the scrub method because if you look really close you can see that it looks very um grainy so from a distance it's okay but um for now with a little bit more practice maybe we can work on how to make sure that it looks a little bit nicer so i have these little charms here i wasn't quite sure what i wanted to do the colors the colors on my nails were giving me tropical vibes. And then I thought about the jungle, and then I thought about snakes. So I decided that I would just grab my gel liners from a Double Dip and just add a few gold lines to this nail. And then for my index finger, I am going to try to do some abstract swirl lines onto the nails. And I want them to look really swirly, really S-y, like for snake, like just a bunch of S's. So taking my time and just going around those corners to make sure that they look a little bit more curved. And uh, is this this the swirls do take a while because I'm not a pro at doing lines yet. So I have to try to keep my control of these brushes else they will start to like like move outside of the curve and then you have extra lines and then you have to clean up and I don't really like to clean up and all that kind of stuff so your best bet as a beginner would definitely be to take your time and uh, go in uh, portions of your lines all right so 
off camera i did go ahead and glue on that cherry and sticked it onto my ring finger and then i went in with some gold outlines onto the uh, pinky and the thumb but then i felt like i needed to add the snake to the uh, index finger as well so i do have that on my finger and i have a side view of what it would look like without the snake all right thank you so much for watching this video guys and i will see you in the next one